Hello everyone, welcome to my tutorial and we'll be implementing a NARI tree data structure in C++. So I have my IDE here, it's called Visual Studio Code. So let's begin our C++ program. Let's first include the things that we need to, so IO stream. And you have to write using namespace std. And then let's create the main function, so int main, open bracket, and then return zero. So now we need to define the node of this NARI tree. So if you look at data structures, they use nodes because a node contains a data and it also contains pointers to the next node. So if we quickly recap, a binary tree has only two children, left and right, and we're gonna have something like this. So that's your parent node and then you have a left pointer and a right pointer. And the way you set this up inside code is that you need to use pointers obviously right so you have to use a struct you can also use a class but if, if you are using struct you have to go proceed like this so struct tree node and then i'm going to say it's going to be an integer so let's store an integer here and then let's write tree node left and then tree node all right so this is called a self-referencing struct I have a video in the description to go over this concept if you don't understand it but essentially you have the node pointing to itself because it, the other data in the tree is also a node right like it's also the same structure right so it has to point to itself here so that's why i have the struct name repeating here for a binary tree this is how you do it but for n array tree you have to use vectors so a vector is an array because obviously each tree can have many children so you have to write something like this vector tree node and then children so this children is essentially all the children of that node and we can save this here also let's um, write some more functions we need to create a node we need to insert a node and then we can also write something to print it out let's write the struct node and then get new node So it's going to take in a data as an input. Also we need to add a child. So if you define a root, we need to add children to it. So let's create a function for that, void add child. This function need not return anything. So let's write tree node node and then int data here. And lastly we can print it out. So we can write void print tree node root. So it's going to take in the root which is the head of the tree and then print all the children from there. So we can now define each of these functions. So um, we need to include a vector because you might get some errors if you don't include it when you compile it because we are using vectors in our code. So let's put it there just in case. And now we can begin with the functions. Let's first define this one here. Let's create a new node function. So I'm gonna write function to create a new node. So it's gonna do it this way and then we can remove the struct here because we just need to define it once all right so i'm going to say this will give back a new node so i'm going to define a new node here so i'm going to write tree node star new node is equal to new tree node and then i'm going to write new node so when you do this this um, bracket and the line, it just means that you're assigning it f to its pointer. So data is equal to data. So, so this is the same thing as dereferencing a pointer. So when, when you, an alternate way can be like this. So you have to write new node. You could write something like, like that, dot data, but this way is a lot more simpler. And let's return this. So let's um, break down this function here. We have a tree node type. We define it like this. And since this function is returning a node, we need to re return the actual node itself. No, notice how I didn't put anything in the children because you just need to define a data. When you initialize this function, it'll create the node. It'll assign the value data to its data field and the children will be just a blank vector. So it's just not gonna assign anything there. So we have that there. And now let's also create a function to add a child to the specific node. So function to add child to this node. And I'm just gonna copy my 
header like that open bracket close bracket so let's create a new node first so I'm going to say tree node new node is equal to get new node which is this function here and then this data so it's gonna just pass in this value data and then create a new node and then return that here so now you want this to be the child of the parent node right so for that what you have to do is you need to say node so you want this to be the child of this node correct because let's say we are adding a child to two and you want it to be five so you want it to add it to this one here so if i say something like add child to five it'll add five below two so you have to write node dot children so for vectors you have something called the pushback operation that appends a value to a vector so it's called pushback pushback and then you just assign new node here so let's break down this function and see what it's doing let's say you write add child 2 and 5 you have a node here 2 it'll create a node 5 which is what these lines are doing here and then this node which is 2 it'll assign it to its children so it's going to create a link like that so let, let's say if you call it a few more times it's just going to create more children so we're going to create one like this, one like, like that, and so on. So you just have to call it each time to append a child. So yeah, so that's the second function. And now let's write something to print it out. But first, let's test this. So let's define the root of my nary tree. Root pointer. So I'm going to write root pointer here. So I'm going to say tree node root. And then I'm going to write create. So root is equal to get new node three. And also let's add two children to this. Add two to one. So you're going to write add child root and then two. So let's call it one more time add child. So notice how I don't assign this to a variable because when I add the child, I don't return anything from the function. You don't actually need to in this case because the roots is being passed in each time. But in your project, for example, you may have to return the root if it's in a class or something. But in my case, I don't need to. So just keep that in mind. And let's um, add more children here. So add three children, five, six, and seven to the of root. So it's like this. So let's continue. Now we need to add these children to the child of two and one. So, so far we have done this. We have a node here when we have two children, two and one. So we have started our tree, initialized it like that. And then we're going to add five, six, and seven to this one here. Pardon my bad drawing skills, but just trying to show you how it works. And then you're going to add the same thing to this one also. So we need to add it. So let's first access the child of, which is two. So add child and the, the data being passed in is five. So let's, um, I'll fill in the first argument after. So five, six. So we're calling it three times because we need to add it to, to the same child of the root. So to do this, Notice how my first child is two and the second child is one because I called it after. So it's pushing back two and one. So that that means it's going to be like this root dot children zero. So, so the first element is going to add five below that. If you put one here, it'll add it to one. So children root dash children is a vector of two elements two and one element number one that's index zero that's two so it's adding five six and seven underneath that so i'm going to call it one more time here but this time we need to add it to the next one so i'm going to write 
let's change this to one so index one corresponds to the node one and then it'll add five six and seven below it so that's pretty much our small function here and then we can just print it out so i'm going to show you now how you can print this so i'm going to write print root but we need to define it first obviously so we have our function there tree node and then let's function to print it out to print something you just need the root and you can go on from there so let's first print out the root and then let's do it sequentially so we want to print out three it's children two and one then the children of two that's five six and seven and then the children of one which is also five six and seven so we can do it like this c out root dot data so that's our head node and then c out root dot children zero dot data and then c out root children one data so this will print, print out three and then two and then one we can now if you want to access the child of a node that's one level below you just do it this way so you write c out root dot children zero dot ch children zero so now we're calling element five which is a child of two and that's a child of my root so i need to call it twice like this this is the same thing as saying in putting this in brackets and then calling it child but we can leave it this way for now and oh, we need to put dot data here um every time i say dot it just means that i'm de-referencing my pointer but yeah we can just continue it like this so we can do it for the others as well so i'm going to copy the the rest of it like that so yeah that's our code here so this will print the root print two and one and then five six and seven and one more time five six and seven so let's run this and see how it works one last time so let's test it and i need to actually delete this extra bracket here because it gave me an error you see how it prints two one five six seven five six seven so that's pretty much it that's how you create an n array tree in c plus plus quite simple so um i'll explain one more time very briefly how this works so you have functions here this one creates a node this one adds a ch child to a node it can be any node not just a root and this will print it out so we define our node with a vector because each node can have many children not just two left and right then we can go on to creating our root we define we get a node we assign a value to it you add child to my root so of two and one so that creates three two and one and then you add children to each of them so that's why when i pass in add child to here my first argument is not the root it's the child of the root and you access that by using root dash children so that's why this thing is a self-referential struct when you do any sort of data structure linked list even stack queue you will use these structs a lot and once again this can be done with a class but it's a little it's a bit different syntax but for this tutorial it's much simpler to explain with a struct okay obviously um in your pro project for example you won't be able to do it this way because this, this is kind of brute force for sure you will have to kind of use a traversal algorithm like breadth first search or depth first search find the node and then add the children so that's more work but that's for a separate video this was just a quick example of how to implement it very fast i'm sure you can come up with your own code to do it much better but yeah that's it for this video thank you for watching sorry for not uploading in a while i've been busy with some stuff and with this channel i plan to move on in the future with more c and programming of data structures algorithm so i'll see you in the next video take care bye